morning. Yogi master Brandon. <laughs> So I got that wobble board from my PT, or I got the recommendation to get that board from my PT because it works really well and I feel like my brain has just lost a little bit of its balance so I need to retrain it and all that stuff and Brandon's having an absolute ball as you can see. He's been studying to become a PT and so much more so he's been applying his these concepts. Uh, on the board. Stabilization endurance training. Yeah. He added his pulp back so it's gonna be nice and thick. Four carrots, one orange, a lot of ginger, one lemon, a little bit of mint. It's barely noticeable though. Um, and then turmeric. I love how Lucy has this like giant tub of syrup. McDonald's here. <laughs> Your cheese is really good. Thank you. I like yeah. my french fries with a little crisp, but I also like them a little soft, you know? So, mm. Crispy enough to where you can get a little crunch, but not to the point where it's burnt and not too soft where it's mushy when you bite it into it, but enough to where there's a little bit of soft potato on the inside. Mm -hmm. Don't leave these here right here or else I'm gonna eat them all. I work from home, so I get to utilize the computer a lot and Brandon, my lovely boyfriend, made me some dinner. Jackfruit, crabless, crab cakes, homemade, um, potato fries, uh, mashed potato, spinach, and butternut squash. A nice, bell oh, bell peppers, oops. This is not butternut squash, this is bell peppers. Um, a nice, wholesome plate overall, so gonna dig in. Oh, <laughs> Brandon got me some sauce for my crab cakes because I'm a saucy person. <laughs> Thank you. She's a Mona Lisa Everyone's lining up to see her She's a Mona Lisa Everyone's lining up to see her Good morning! I have got a slow start to today. It is Friday, so luckily I don't have to do much. I just have a work meeting later today and this chair is squeaking so much, oh my god. I'm gonna be doing some work from home and just drinking my little green juice and um, just keeping myself busy. So yeah, and editing some videos uh, that are coming to our YouTube channel as well as our Instagram. So we've been trying to work on our content and get that sort of going. What's under this sort of smile? We'll never know. What did you make? Mm. Pengi Bosotjon. I think I tried to say it right. Pengi Bosotjon. Pengi, Pengi Bosotjon. Anoki mushroom pancakes. Mm. Korean style. I didn't have crown daisy, so I just used some kale. What is crown daisy? It's a, looks like a dark leafy green vegetable. I've never seen it before. It's my first time hearing about it. Today, so. 
Koreans you really use like the most odd vegetables ever, you know? Would you fry these in? Like the oils? Mm -hmm. uh, just olive oil. Just olive oil? Okay. These are so good. Mm -hmm. But I would definitely say, like Brandon said to me earlier, he would have made them thinner. Mm -hmm. Technically, the lady said to um, uh, Ajuma said to flatten it out in the pan. Mm -hmm. He's trying to one branch his, out. Yeah. Branch out one of his Korean cooking games. So, yeah. We're gonna devour these. So, mmm. Mmm. So good. Mmm. Look at the moon. Me and Brandon are going back to my old workplace uh, here in the Avalon. This is like fancy land. Huh? This is like bougie land. Avalon is a very bougie place, so I won't lie. Yes, I agree. I feel like I'm in Naples, Florida. Can't really see the sign. Here's my old workplace, True Food Kitchen. Ayo! I used to be a hostess. Every storefront here at the Avalon, I'm pretty sure has a dog bowl because there are a lot of dogs that are here in the in the area, so they need to have dog bowls to hydrate the dogs. It's actually really cute. Oh my god. Oh my god, look at this little baby. Look at this little baby. So bougie. They have their own hotel in the actual shopping mall. It is very, I like the ambiance. I think your dad and Connie would love this place. Of course they would. And we back. We got some organic stir fry blend vegetables, two alfa burritos, one is chicken fajitas, and Philly. I heard the Philly one's really good, so I think we're gonna try that out, right? Okay. Um, and then Dr. Prager's actually came up with two new products. They're sliders, so they have buffalo chicken sliders and the perfect sliders. I guess these are like beef patties or whatnot. I don't know. I was craving bagels today. She was sleeping. And I was laying next to her, and she was just like, bagel. I'm like, huh? so yeah, I think Lucy was dreaming about bagels. And this cream cheese, which is the Violife original cream cheese, it's made out of coconut oil, I think. Made from dairy, soy, gluten, lactose, nuts, and preservatives. preservatives. Some samosas from the Whole Foods brand. We got the Whole Foods brand samosas, potato, and peas. What does it say? Petite wheat flour pastry is filled with a savory mixture of potatoes and green peas that have been slow roasted in a fragrant blend of Southeast Asian herbs and spices. Looks yummy. The Earth Veggies Lover's Pizza. I've actually tried this before, but apparently they have a new improved formula, and this thing is thick. Like, like it's like a couple inches. Like, I don't know what the hell is going on with that, but I was really happy to see the, they were selling this at Whole Foods because they don't sell them at Sprouts anymore, which kind of fucking sucks. Pupusas, kale and pinto bean pupusas. The Tres Latin Foods brand, I guess. There's four frozen ones in here. Yeah. So, pupusa, it's basically, pupusas are corn masa stuffed with delicious goodness, such as kale and pinto beans. So, actually, there was a, there's actually a local, I don't know if there were a Latin foods place or like a cafe at our school at Georgia State. Um, I think it was called Buenos Dias Cafe. They had pupusas too, and they offered vegan options, which is good. But um, yeah, there. I used to be, I used to get two plates with the quinoa, the salad thing, the maduros, and I used to get pupusas on the side. Pupusas are actually very slept on. I feel like they're super, super good. So. All right. So we don't know if we're gonna try all this food, honestly, because it's definitely gonna be too much. Um, but. We'll try what we have and what we want to eat, and we'll see about that. So we have the pupusa, the chicken slider from Dr. Prager's, the alfa burrito, which is the cheesesteak one, which looks promising, and then Brandon made something with the stir fried veggies, so. You really just farted, huh? Do you want the fart machine tonight? The food was so good. It was, it was better than we expected, right? I really like that Philly 
Burrito? It's a burrito? Yeah. Yeah that, yeah, that Philly burrito is great. Now this is cooking up. Lucy Goosey. My baby. How you doing? I woke up this morning and I found the sweetest little thing that um, Brandon left me before he headed to work. Hope you're feeling better this AM. Make yourself some hot tea and eat something nice. <laughs> or, and something nice to eat. Zing tablet. I'm pretty sure this is cayenne pepper. Yep, cayenne, turmeric, and black pepper, and the grater for the ginger. Brandon and I have been having pretty much ginger, turmeric, black pepper tea. Uh, like almost every single day, morning and night. Um, occasionally we do put cayenne pepper in it. I don't like my tea spicy, so I kind of omit it occasionally. But I thought, that's, I thought I just had to show you guys that because it's just the sweetest little thing. Hello? About to cut Brandon's toenails. It is currently 8.05 and we are going to eat some Thai food for dinner. It's our first time at this place and I heard it was really good. So we got a couple things. So Brandon, do a the couple, layout please. A couple things. A couple things. Yeah, just a couple things. We have a beautiful yellow curry. Mm -hmm. We have a, uh, they call it a sampler. Different tempura things, mm -hmm. tofu, green beans. It looks like onions, broccoli, mushroom. These are the drunken noodles. Drunken noodles, no egg, of course. Yep, no fish sauce, none of that. And that's the basil. Fried rice, no egg. Lemonade. It says, Ooh, taste Ooh, so sweet. Fighter. Three like parties, making uh, one for me. Them ocean sounds. Ooh, mm -hmm. sit slowly. Ooh, sit slowly. Ooh, sit slowly. Brandon's really simple when it comes to his desserts, so he got one with regular icing, an old school roll, and amaretto. So Brandon made me dinner while I'm editing. So yes. what is going down, baby? Steamed rice here with the homemade sweet chili garlic sauce that I uh, drizzled over the rice. Sauteed mushrooms. Um, I got a veggie medley with spinach, purple cabbage, and an assortment of bell peppers. And I got this, um, this was a leftover stew that I made with black beans, potatoes, carrots. Benevolent, benevolent bacon. Blah, 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 blah. Raw, and, uh, <laughs> and then some air fried maduros on, on Ooh, top. maduros are my favorite. And garnished with some cilantro. <gasps> Thank you, baby. I shall eat it well. So I'm editing one of our vegan food adventure vlogs and it's taking a little while <laughs> because we haven't posted it for almost two weeks and um, just put it off, but no more delaying. I totally did not even show you guys my new glasses. I have these little prongs on the glasses so like they don't fall off my face like my old glasses do. And yeah, they were just a little beat up, but I got a new pair. I don't think they're blue light protected, but I really want a separate pair of glasses for that, which would be cool. But I'm gonna enjoy this food, get to editing, and then by the time y'all see this vlog, 
the video should be up. It's the vegan food adventure on my boilers food. So go check it out. Mm -mm -mm. Sexy, sexy. Mm. Oh, look at his arms. And I'm dressed totally down. You're so cute and cozy. So we are actually going to the Cheesecake Factory to meet one of my really good friends and it's just been a long time since we all kind of hung out together and of course we're gonna, you know, social distance from other people as well as, you know, wear masks to the restaurant so we stay safe. Um, but there's actually a hurricane, like a tropical storm hurricane warning. Yeah, so we're going, really going to the Cheesecake Factory during a tropical storm, so...